Hello and welcome back to Make Money Guide. As we enter this new decade, it's become apparent that the years ahead will be particularly challenging for new businesses. Amidst all the obstacles you're going to face, building a website for your business may not be at the forefront of your mind. However, we're here to tell you why establishing your online presence is crucial to the future of your business. The truth is, no matter if you're running a part-time side hustle or a full-time business, a business website is a key component to establishing your identity, building your visibility, and maintaining your relevance in an ever more online world. In the next section, we'll explain why. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a website for your business. Make sure that you stay to the end as you don't want to miss any of this information. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn notices on so you don't miss any valuable content. why a business website is so important. A 2018 study from Clutch.co found that 64% of small businesses had a website at the time of the survey. Even if you assume that this number has grown in the years that have passed since the study was conducted, it still means that a significant number of small businesses out there don't have a website up yet. Contrast this with the study conducted by BrightLocal.com in 2014, which found that 68% of consumers report that having a website is a key factor in the opinion they hold about a business and directly influences their decision to use a local business, and then a mere 27% were not bothered about whether a local business has a website or not, and wouldn't judge them if they didn't. Now consider that this study was done years ago, you can imagine how these numbers might be different should the same study be conducted today. Regardless of the exact numbers, the reality is clear. Not having a website means that your business is alienating a large majority of your potential customers right off the bat. To set yourself up for success in the 20s, yes, your business needs a website. Doing otherwise puts you on the path to irrelevance. Here's a list of reasons why it's essential to have a business website. It shows off what your business is, what it does, and helps define your brand. It establishes your relevance. If you don't have a website, younger people assume you don't really exist or are not worth bothering with. It provides your customers a way to contact you 24-7. It gives your customers a good first impression of your business, assuming your website doesn't suck. Now that we've established the necessity of having a website, what do you need to do to create one for your business? To answer that question, we've put together a checklist of steps you can take to ensure that your business has a respectable web presence. Steps to creating a website for your business. Modern website building services make it easier than ever to establish a functional and attractive business website. However, these are the steps you'll need to make sure that your website reinforces your business goals. Number one, solidify your business plan. Naturally, before you decide on the nature of the website you want to build, you should solidify your business plan so that you have a good grasp of what you want to accomplish with your website. If you've already launched your business or if you have the foundation of a business in a place and are refining specifics of your plan, try to pinpoint the key aspects of your business ahead of launching your website. Determine who your target clients are and how to best communicate to this audience what your business is about. Decide on what you want your brand image to be and how it relates to the highs of your target audience. Once you have a solid idea of what you want to accomplish with your business website, you can move forward with confidence. Two, research the competition. Once you know what your business is and who your clients will be, it is important to research other businesses in your industry. Pay special attention to the websites of your competitors. Take note of the design and branding of these websites, how they are structured, multi-page versus single page, what integrations they use, etc., and whether these sites have any mobile specific features for customers who use their smartphones to navigate them. Examine what distinguishes the websites of the leading companies in your field from the websites of the middling businesses. Site visitors will often you must stay on website to be indicative of a backward, out of touch business. 3. Pick your domain name. Your domain name is the first thing people will notice about your website. It helps establish your brand, identify what will affect your SEO. That's why it's important to give careful consideration to what you want your domain name to be. Pick something distinctive and brand related and you'll be settling yourself up for success. Pick something generic and your URL won't stand out from the crowd. You'll be missing out on an opportunity to distinguish your business from the competition. Many small businesses get their domain name from the same service they use to build their website. However, other businesses choose to buy their domain from a separate source, which can be handy should you decide to use a different website builder somewhere down the road. 4. Create a business email. The importance of a professional business specific email addresses often gets overlooked, but when your future customers visit your site's contact page, they see your email address listed as 50boy420yahoo.com, they're going to assume the worst about your business. To lend credibility to your business, create a business email address that emphasizes professionalism, preferably some combination of your name and the name of your business. Thankfully, many website builder packages include custom email addresses, often through G Suite. 5. Choose your website builder. 
here's where things get a little bit more complicated. Unless you intend to build your business website from scratch by yourself, not generally recommended, or hire a team of developers and designers to build your site, this is cost prohibitive for most small businesses, you'll need to choose a website builder to create your website and your business deserves. However, no two website builders are created equal. Thankfully, there are options tailored for different business types and different levels of technical expertise. Number six, select a website template or theme. If your website builder has you choose a template or theme at the beginning of the site creation process, think carefully before making your choice. You'll want a template that reflects the industry you're in. You'll also want to ensure that your chosen template jibes with your brand image. Try to judge whether your template can accommodate whatever feature additions you plan to make. We should add here that some modern website builders don't have you choose from among different templates. Some site builders will create a website for you based on your particular business type. Others will prompt you to provide some content and then will automatically arrange the content you provided into a new website. Content you can then edit and rearrange. 7. Organize and design your website. At this point, you'll have to consider how you want to organize your content into a coherent website. 8. Start adding content. Now for the fun part. Once you've decided on your site's design, form and structure, it's time to start filling in the blanks with content. Keep things relatively simple and streamlined, but try to showcase your personality and the personality of your brand as well. 9. Set up payments and policies. If your business is offering items or services for sale on your website, you'll need to set up payment processing. Selecting and setting up payment methods can be complex and intimidating. Don't forget to be transparent on your website about your policies regarding payments, shipping and refunds. 10. Optimize your website with the best SEO practices. You might have a great website, but if Google can't find it, neither will your potential customers, thus rendering your website building efforts moot. Now, you've probably heard the term SEO before, but you may not know much more about other than the fact it stands for Search Engine Optimization. 11. Share and market your new website. So you've launched your business website, now it's time to spread the good word about it. We've discussed the importance of your Google listing and getting your website seen, but there are other ways to get the word out. If you have a social media following, be sure to announce your new business website, not just in your bio, but with an announcement posting. Perhaps you could offer a limited time discount for your services to new site visitors. And if you don't already have a Facebook business page, you want to create one as it's a good way to drive traffic to your website. 12. Frequently maintain your website. After you've built your site, you'll want to keep it well maintained. Your visitors will be able to sniff out a stale website and so will Google. Do you have a website for your business? Feel free to share the link in the comments down below. We would love to have a look at it. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.